Hi, this is Glenda. I'm still doing spiders, so I thought I'd share where I'm up to. I've been packaging them up ready, and they certainly look a lot nicer once they're, they're packaged. Um, so I've got seven ready to go already. And then I've got some playing dead as the glue dries. Uh, I've refined the process quite a bit which is now making them all look very alike and it's getting boring and I'm going to have to stop or I'll need an exterminator. Um, what I did discover today when I went to get some of more of the filigree beads is they're really expensive. The trouble with things in your stash is that um, you don't always know what it's going to cost to replace them. So anyway, what I did find with these ones I got today is, and I think they're identical, is that I did manage to get um, all four leg pieces through one filigree, so that saved me um, one piece. But what I did was put them through and just bend the wires aside um, to make sure that they all fitted before I started doing the other half of the leg, and uh, that works quite well. Uh, the other thing I got um, was these little cones and I'll just show you what I've done with those uh, because it's the other slightly different method. Uh, I only had three of these big acrylic crystals and I have no idea what they would cost to replace because I don't even know where I got them. Um, but I think I have enough spiders for this exercise anyway so... If I decide to do more, I'll have to go internet shopping, I think. If I can get this through. So I've just looped the, the wire through the, the um, crystal. And if it goes through, I'm going to put it through this cone. Like that. Just give the wire a little bit of a twist, not too much. And I've got another crystal for the head. Just pull one of the wires out of the way. Snip off as close as you can with one of them. Preferably without it going over the room like that. I'm just going to snip that and make my loop. Hoping this is working. I'm standing up because I was just doing this quick little update bit. So then, there they are. I knew I had some legs ready. So I've threaded my beads onto my four leg stems. I'm just going to pick a hole in this and put them all through the same hole. And in theory, out the other side. It might have to be two at a time. Oh no, there we go. And then just finish the legs off the same way. Um, but I got uh, some beads. I can probably make spiders for the next century <laughs> um, because it either came in little tiny packets or great big packets. And the big packets ultimately work out cheaper if you can use all the beads. So that's just two slight variations on what I've been doing. It it's become really quick now that I know exactly what I'm doing and they've lost their individuality so much which is a little bit sad but anyway some of them are going to be more unique than others um, but that's my spiders and that's the end of spiders for me at least for the moment so thanks for watching <laughs>